Good day to one and all. This is Dr. Sibaraman of iNoIndices.com. Thanks for the confirmation that you are able to hear me. Let me display the thank you center. Let me display the PowerPoint presentation. Asian session live market analysis on November 2nd between 5 and 5.30 GMT. So it's a simple market tracking technique using the live market code page. Let me give the link for the same. You can open it in a browser. I will also focus the camera over that of the live market code page. Okay, now it should be visible for you. Hero is currently trading around 1.3924, 1.3927. The low was 1.3882, the high was 1.3932 and 32 pips positive net change is seen. In the case of GBP, and Friday it has gained the levels and also subsequently it is holding above that of 1.60. So 1.6051, 1.6055 are the current levels. Then 1.6034 is the low, 1.6065 is the high and 18 pips positive net change is seen. When Euro has gained about 30 pips, GBB has gained only about 18 pips. Because of that, Euro GBB is making a small gain to that of 86.70 86.75 level. The low was 86.54, the high was 86.75 and 8 pips positive net change is seen. So they may come closer to that of 87 area, then again try to drop Euro GPP as envisaged from that of 0 0.89, they come to that level of 0 0.86 and Probably now they will keep 0 0.87 as the high and go to that of 0 0.85 area. Then similarly in the case of Euro CHF, we find that 1.34 level, they have gained the level to that 1.38 and about 14 plus positive net change is seen. And that can be confirmed when USD CHF is trading around 0 0.9908, 0 0.9911 currently. And 0 0.9908 has become the low, 0 0.9932 has become the high and you find 10 pips negative net change. When Euro has gained about 30 pips, CHF has done only about 10 pips uh, correction or the slide. So which indicates that one third they are trying to dip off the net changes of Euro. As a result, Euro CHF is expected to gain the levels. And in the case of Yen, so again they started trading below that of 81, 80.55, 80.58 are the current level, 80.48 the low and 80.73 is the high and 5 pips positive net change is seen. When Euro, GBB and USDN are showing positive net change, then you can understand that they want to make the contrary move because that Euro N and GBB N have gained nominally about 31 pips and 22 pips. So they could gain the levels in the case of Yen crosses today after the drop of yesterday. And in the case of Canadian dollar, 1.0117, 1.0121 are the current levels. 1.0117 is the high, the low. 1.0167 is the high and about 32 pips negative net change is seen. So when compared to that of CHF, Canadian dollar has dropped more. So 0 0.0031 USD CAD has dropped more. 0 0.0031 is the negative net change in the case of Canadian USD CAD. And in the case of CHF, it is only about 10 pips negative net change. And in the case of Australian dollar, as you know that there was an interest rate rise in Australia. Because of that, they gained about 100 pips straight and it was trading around 98.67.70. Then subsequently made a quick jump to 99.73, 99.76 and 99.91 has become the high. So Australian dollar is close to that of parity and they could reach it tomorrow and sustain there for some more time. So these are all the uh, current situations you come across. So you find all through excepting N, they are showing USD gaining move. Only N is showing nominal USD weakening more of about 4 pips. So 
since they are doing contrarian move you could come across more contrarian move today because in this week you come across lot of um, prime data are going to be released so on a daily basis so we could come across more volatile moves during that and also given the uh, expected market moves for those days uh, in fx street so you could come across they are being displayed in fx street home page with regard to the fed decision what could be the market moves and also with regard to boi and ecb uh, interest rate decision what could be the expected market moves and also for the non farm payroll on friday what could be the expected market moves they are being displayed and we could come across various analysts giving their views and i have also given my views last week and they are being they will be displayed on a daily basis and you can just go through that and understand about the expected market moves for this particular week so let me go back to that of the powerpoint presentation and explain to you what is the expected move for today so the expected moves for today initial volatile moves during the start of the japanese session and then rise so the rise is happening now in the case of euro and gpp and also already the rise has happened in the case of australian dollar then during that of the european session we could come across a volatile move the drop and a rise could be seen during that european session then us session could show initial volatile move and that could be about 50 60 pips on a wide range and then final rise so it is first week of the month so keep always in mind the last week of the month and the first week of the month new month they are expected to make volatile moves and especially last week they of the month they try to hit the stops on either side of the options and the futures market positions and for the new month they will try to induce the traders to take wrong positions so once the traders have taken the wrong position then automatically they make the moves against their expectations and trap them by month end so that way you come across the monthly market cycles are happening so whenever you come across during the month beginning quick drop in the case of euro and gbp uh, especially in the in a derivative market like options and futures and they are all good buy opportunity probably you could come across the discounted levels uh, and they initially show the discounted level in order for the traders to commit or the forward premium might be reduced and then the traders will think that there is no uh, interest among that of the Uh, exporters importers etc to take positions and then later on they will try to give it a premium and the traders will try to or the importers and the exporters will do the covering with a loss so on a monthly basis they make the particular cycle for that they are trying to do the month end and new month beginning the volatile moves so that you should be able to understand and they are not good for position trade and you can do on a daily basis the swing trades then another important aspect <coughs> sorry another important aspect is now the daylight saving system is off as a result you come across the standard timing is being followed in europe but still us is following the daylight saving system and they will be uh, going for the standard time from the 7th of november so from next week onwards you could come across both the daylight saving system will be off in europe as well as us then the market timings will vary and for this particular month you should you could come across 30 minutes shift in that of the japanese session so instead of 7 gmt it will be extended till 7:30 gmt then 7:30 to 8 gmt is the gap time european session will have a lesser time one hour lesser and from 8 to 13 gmt we could come across the european session and the us session will be as usual in this particular month and from 7th of uh, sorry in this week from 7th of november you will come across uh, that is from next week onwards the 8th will be the uh, monday 
from that time onwards it will be from 14 to 1430 gmt will be the gap time and 1430 to 2030 2130 will be the us session time now currently 13 to 1330 1330 to 2030 as usual the us sessions will be seen so make a note of it and the start of the european session is by 8 gmt so between 730 and 8 gmt they are expected to make the false move gap time false move then with regard to the initial lows and the highs euro formed the initial low 1.3882 and that is not breached and the high was 1.3914 and that was breached and 1.3932 has become the high then in the case of gbp 1.6034 was the low which is in fact 1.6065 as the high and that is not breached so euro they have breached the high and they intend to make for the rise in the case of euro to start with to gain the levels in euro gbp and from european session onwards they could reverse euro gbp so whenever they are near that of the high in the case of euro gbp just calmly wait let them make a quick upward stop and, and come below that of the initial high then you try to take a sell position then you will be able to hold the highest level sell to maximize the profit whenever they are making 100 pips 100 tickets drop then in the case of usd yen 80.48 is the low and 80.73 is the high both are intact and australian dollar uh, 9867 was the low and 9979 was the high they breached the high and they formed a new high 9991 and you come across 105 pips positive net change because of the impact of the interest rate rise so you could come across today australian dollar gaining further levels during the day don't try to short it and canadian dollar 1.0118 is Hello. They breached the low by one pip. One point zero one one seven has become the new low. The high was one point zero one six seven, which is intact and currently showing thirty three pips negative net change. So all are showing the USD weakening move, excepting yen. So you could come across today uh, during the day that yen is also gaining the level along with that of euro and GBP. So as a result, yen crosses could gain levels. So let me minimize the PowerPoint presentation and take up the questions which are asked here. Probably I'll display to the slide over the top the fundamentals. So in a fixed rate, you find the in the upper menu column the fundamentals are there. Once you click fundamentals, there you come across uh, what could be the impact. in the market and there is a survey like among that of the analyst you find that uh, what could be the expected market move i also mentioned it so you can go through that and find out how exactly the market is expected to behave during this particular week similarly i also given with regard to fed interest rate statement and also ecb and BOE interest rate statement and they will also be displayed in this particular fundamental column and you can go through that understand the views from that of the way so that you will be able to really make a judgment on your own how exactly the market appears differently and suddenly you come across the surprise happening to many of the traders and also to the of the analyst Then let me focus the camera over that of the live market code page okay. and take up the questions which are asked here. Okay, J. You said they could gain the levels in the case of the yen crosses. Mean that yen will gain against the Australian dollar, GBP, and euro. Yes. Or the other way around no? n will be gaining against the us dollar to start with then you could come across euro and gbp gaining australian dollar gaining and also usd and gain as a result you will find the n crosses will also gain the levels 
because yen is a denominator currency here and euro gbp and australian dollar are the numerator currencies when both the currencies gain levels like euro as well as yen gbp as well as yen or euro as well as chf and euro as well as gbp if they are crosses of that nature you will find there will be a double edge effect so as a result uh, suppose euro has gained about 36 pips and usdn has gained about 4 pips you will find that euro yen gaining about 35 pips so yen impact is minimized and you because it's only 4 pips so you find 35 pips in the case of uh, gbp about 19 pips and in the case of USDN is about 4 pips, then you find 23 pips gain in the case of GBPN. So this is how you will come across the cumulative effect. During, whenever they are handling the crosses, you can easily identify by referring to that of the net changes. That I explained it in my trading system. You can go through that for a better understanding. In New Aid, does the change in the time affect the uh, observation time of 230 to 330 now this initial highs and the lows formed between 230 and 330 gmt is unaffected so i will also continue to give the asian session live market analysis between 5 and 530 gmt on a daily basis excepting friday and there won't be any change with regard to the timings and rob do you expect Similar jumps of GBP soon? No, not today. Because today Australian dollar uh, had the interest rate rise, so obviously it has jumped. But the others will gain slowly. Thereby, the crosses of Australian dollar will come across the volatile moves, and subsequently, you come across in this week uh, the importance will be given to that of euro and GBP whenever the interest rate decisions are to be announced. Uh, on Thursday and also the Fed interest rate today and uh, I mean elections today and tomorrow Fed interest rate and Friday again non-form payroll so on daily basis you will find the importance will be given to that of the respective data release so as a result you will come across more volatile moves in the market whereby the players will be able to handle the crosses. Then what is your view, Jason? What is your view uh, in Canadian dollar this week? USD CAD has come down from the 1.02 to 1.01 area. It might revisit below 1.01 .01 and then gain back. Then Herman, should we sell GBP? No, I will not recommend that. And uh, GBP is going to be uh, a virulent currency from now on so be careful and they will try to create the sentiment by gaining more levels in the case of GBP in order to drop Euro GBP. Euro will be gaining slowly on a daily basis. So at that time if you short it, it might be you might be struck and you will be wondering that when Euro and GBP are gained substantially why should CHF should also gain. Now people will be able to understand that how they have made the contrary in moves. So on an, if you look at that net change, it might appear that uh, euro has gained, so CHF has dropped. But the quanti if you try to quantify it, then euro is around 0 0.950, 0, I mean USD CHF was around 0 0.95, 0 0.96. And when euro is expected to rise to 1.40 and above, and all we are expecting that USD CHF will go below 1.34. Uh, 0.94 see now you find that how the contrarian move they have done it they gain the levels in the case of euro they gain the levels in the case of USD CHF those who have been following it uh, with an understanding that how contrarian moves are being made they will be able to really appreciate that how the players have played a trick and now Can Canadian dollar has dropped and yen has dropped but CHF has gained. So this is how they handle the three denominator currencies alternatively and you will find slowly they continue to make the contrary moves. Because when Euro and GBP are rising many traders thought that 
the USDC HF could drop considerably and they are shorted it and they are being trapped vulnerably now. So this is how the players create the market sentiment and act against the traders. If you think that they are all plated, then you will find continuous surprise in the market. Then DTPT. Do you expect USDC HF to go above parity? Yeah, not today, but uh, tomorrow or day after, it is expected to go above that parity. And they are expected to uh, probably revisit 0 0.9750 or 0 0.9880 and then gain back the levels. So they will consolidate here and then those who are holding long positions around that of 1, 0 0.979695 etc. They will think that it is better to get out of that. It may not go above parity. Then after buying all those uh, lower level cells, the players will gain above that of parity and continue to gain the levels in the case of CHF. We would have seen that uh, USD CHF was uh, very weak when compared to USD CAD earlier. A similar situation is expected to come up. Then one. Has the GBP now moved into a narrow upper range? If so, will it be spread increase accordingly? No, USD GBP is expected to gain more, and you know that it has got a potency to gain about 250 pips, and they may gain suddenly 350 pips in a single day. Be cautious and trade accordingly, and don't think that market looks subdued. And don't simply commit positions against the trend and you might be trapped vulnerably like how exactly in the in Australian dollar they have been holding at a lower level and making small swing and today after the data release they quickly gained the level this is how and the 200 steps this sort of spikes are expected frequently here afterwards so probably about uh, one or two years we are not being seen uh, the spikes for a long time in the after the uh, reduced leverage you can expect more spikes happening in the market so analyze the market well and then try to take position rather than emotionally taking position of aiming about 20 30 pips profit why not I do sell and buy or a buy and sell technically then you might be trapped then don't key isn't it uh, quantitative easing too already priced in the market? It has been in the view news so much lately. Even the taxi driver talked about it. So when the taxi driver talks about it, that doesn't mean that it is an accepted norm. So that is how they spread that news. You know? And it doesn't mean that uh, it is going to be, it is being incorporated in the market. Uh, always keep in mind that uh, they may create an anticipation and when the anticipation is not coming through, they vulnerably make moves in the market. So at that time if the taxi drivers have invested money without understanding what the market is, they will lose their shirt. They knew it. This is how the herd mentality reach to that of the uh, the extreme level wherein the people do not know anything about the market also start making investments and then the players uh, make their trick and just induce them to get out of the market and they know very well whenever the head mentality is created and those who are not familiar with the market also bound to be attracted is not the first time and it happens very frequently. They knew it. For today, it is possible that Euro USD will rise, GBP USD will drop to rise Euro GBP. I am not expecting that sort of move and they could, uh, because they are holding it in positive. During the European session, positive net change. During the European session, you just watch for about 30 minutes and if they are not coming back to that of the negative net change, then you could find that both will be in positive net change and they will try to vary the uh, the net change, pip net change. Say from 41 they may rise it to 51 or 61 and in the case of Euro, they might, GBP they might be holding it and later on they could rise about 50 to 60 levels 
uh, net change in the case of GBP and then start making the slide. Then they make such moves and the extreme moves will be like dropping euro and rising GBP that they do it only on weekends whenever the volume is committed in the market not before that. Then Kate, uh, what is the expected move for euro and GBP during the content meeting Wednesday? Yeah, you go through that it is being given uh, and so I do not want to release it beforehand. So probably you can just wait for that display to be happened today in FX Street. Then go through that. And later on any doubt you ask me in the blog. I will be you on a daily basis the expected market moves in the blog. Because that uh, analytical view uh, should be read by all the visitors for the simple reason why I am um, insisting that so that you will be able to get an objective view about how the market perceives especially the analyst. Then Herman, should we sell and above parity? Sell Australian dollar? No. You know very well whenever you think that it is the maximum and try to take sell position, they rise further up. So in the case of gold, the earlier high was 1.33, 1330 and a lot of people started taking sell positions when it reached 1360, 65, they went up to 1387. So this is how they trap it, knowing well their strategy, if we try to sell, as soon as the gain has happened, then you will be trapped or you will be induced to hold the position for a long time and they may not drop and the fear will grip. So let them finish all the rise and let them stop making upward stop and then probably you do sell and buy trade. So I explained in my trading system how to approach the market you know, and with whenever there is a shift in trading zone what they are supposed to do. At the lowest level they are supposed to do a, a lower level consolidation with a downward stop and, and middle level they will try to do the middle level consolidation with either way stop and, and the higher level they will do higher level consolidation with upward stop and. Let them finish upward stop and then they will start making the slide. At the time try to take sell so that you will be able to book profit. See that is our objective. At the highest level if you sell there is no guarantee that you are going to book profit definitely because all the traders will think like that and the players know whenever the extreme moves are shown the traders tend to take positions. Now in the case of USDM 15 year low is shown. So if you try to take buy position what happens? You don't show profit. So why you are in a hurry to take positions in such extreme levels? Then, what do you expect Euro USD to rise then draw for the London session? No, they they are expected to make volatile moves. They will oscillate between low and high, and finally breach the high. They may make a brief downward stop. So, whenever such quick moves happen in the market, try to come in positions. That is, when they quickly drop by, when they quickly gain levels, you book profit. New Age. Recently I noticed that by observing Euro GBP along with Euro USD and GBP USD one can precisely time entries on Euro USD and GBP USD. Does that work? Yeah, that is what I have been uh, contemplating, I have been uh, teaching. Now you say that you have observed it on your own, that means you understood it. Fine. Don't. My my point exactly, smart money is on the sell side then, okay. Probably you just try it out and understand. But use the uh, risk limiting factors so that you, do, you are not losing it blindly. Then DDPT, uh, what is your view on USDN for today and this week? USDN is expected to make a lower level consolidation and slowly gain the level. Do you see it below 80 
or above 81 below 80 or closer to 80 they may show probably a brief downward stop on 79 92 and things like that and then they could approach 81 82 you expect euro and gbp to rise during the late january session they expect usd chf and usd cad usd n to rise also yes they are expected to swing and gain and suddenly during the european session you may come across the slides in the case of the denominator currencies the new if taxi drivers are talking about qe do you being priced in then the expectations is the usd gaining moves by the herd therefore a case for usd weakening moves no nothing like that don't derive from such sentiments so if you try to take the sentiments and there are so many uh, ways by which the sentiments of the consumers traders etc are being taken into consideration just because large number of people think like that it doesn't mean that market has to move in that direction large number of people might be thinking like that euro may not rise more but they may not short it so you have to understand that so it all depends upon the actual positions committed by that of the traders the sentiments might be misguiding factor then Jay, do you think that USD yen will go to 150 levels no I am not expecting that sir um, probably they may gain about 200 300 pips and things like that to start with then later on we have to see during that particular uh, once they take out usdm out of this particular range they should be able to go above that of 84 for any of such actions to happen so these are all the questions so let me go back to that of the powerpoint presentation So expected market moves, volatile moves and rise are expected during the Japanese session and just volatile moves, either way moves are expected during that of the European session, an upward stop and then a downward stop and then US session they are expected to gain levels significantly today and this is the first week of the month so keep in mind that they are expected to make more volatile moves and don't become bullish or bearish and whenever there is a quick drop in the market you try to buy whenever there is a quick rise in the market you exit out of your buy position don't try to do sell and buy trade and with regard to the market timings so there is a change with regard to the Japanese and the European session for the time being in this week so Japanese session will get over by 7.30 GMT 7.30 to 8 GMT will be the gap time 8 GMT European session starts end time no alteration from next week onwards the US session will show the change in the timing once the daylight saving system is off that will be 14.30 GMT to 21.30 GMT so at that time I will display the slide again and explain and also give it in the blog so that you can easily follow it with regard to the initial lows and the high they have breached the high in the case of euro and they are holding it and in the case of GBP, they are not breached the high. And USDN also, uh, CHF, they breached the low by one tip. The high is intact. And in the case of Japanese yen, they have come closer to that of the low, around 80.5457. The low is 80.48. So they could make a brief downward stop and then gain the level. And in the case of Australian dollar, they have breached the high and they are staying above that particular level, 99.79. So further gains could be seen. And nowadays you come across Australian dollar in one stretch gains about 200 pips and slowly lose the level. And that sort of moves they make it. So understand the type of moves they make and then subsequently try to take positions. And Canadian dollar, they breach the low again. 1.0113 has become the new low and 39 pips negative net change is seen when Australian dollar has gained about 110 pips positive net change so they could drop further Canadian dollar below that of 1.01 .01, and then probably they could reverse it. Okay.
let me take this opportunity to thank everybody who have come here to listen to my talk and this being recorded and you can uh, see that the link being displayed in FX Street website and from there you can understand uh, and refer to that of the type of moves they make during this particular day. For the rest of the days, I already given the focus and that will also be displayed in FX Street homepage for the respective events like Fed interest rate decision and also DOA and ECB interest rate decision and non-form payrolls on from that of tomorrow. All the three days, the major events are there. The expected market moves also I have given it there. And I will also post it in the blog for you to use it as an additional input for your trading decisions. Thank you one and all. See you tomorrow again during Asian session live market analysis. Thank you. Bye.